In today's fast-paced world, developing 21st century skills are crucial for success in various aspects of life. But the question is, how? The answer to this complex question is straightforward. Playing sports is a great way to do this without even realizing it because it provides hands-on experience in learning. This is the fourth video of the five videos series demonstrating fun sports activities that can help you improve important skills such as problem solving, careful thinking, communication and leadership. Every video is focused on one sport and related skills. In this video, we are going to learn how an activity like Rugby Rounders can help us develop collaboration and teamwork. The video will cover everything about the activity, how to set it up, how to play, what happens next and a discussion at the end to understand how it went. Let's see. The purpose of this activity is to teach participants how an activity like Rugby Rounders can help them learn to work together and contribute to a shared goal by coordinating with each other. This game can be played indoors or outdoors. You will need a 60 by 30 feet space for the game. The time required for this activity is 45 minutes. You will also need one rugby ball for every team, cones and a minimum of four players to start the game. The facilitator divides the participants into teams of even numbers with at least four participants in each team. Teams are matched up to compete against each other. Team 1 is told to make a small circle and team members should stand about 5 to 6 feet away from each other. Team 2 is directed to form a larger circle around Team 1 with participants standing 10 to 12 feet apart from each other. The facilitator explains the rules of the game to all the participants. Both teams are provided with one ball each to initiate the activity. At the beginning of the game, Team 1 starts by passing the ball from one person to another like they do in rugby. Team 1 gets one point for every successful pass. The participant from Team 2 takes possession of the ball and starts running towards the next participant in the circle. The second participant from Team 2 receives the ball and runs to the next participant in the circle with the initial participant assuming their position in the circle. Every successful pass results in a point. This process continues until all the participants from Team 2 have returned to their original positions. The game concludes when all participants from Team 2 have finished the circuit, marking the end of the rally. At the end of the rally, the facilitators compare the points earned by each team basis the number of successful passes. The team with the most points is declared the winner. This is followed by the facilitator instructing the teams to swap roles. Team 2 now becomes the passing team and Team 1 assumes the role of running and passing. The game will continue as teams alternate between running and passing phases. The facilitator may introduce an easier version of the activity by reducing the size of the circles. To make the activity a bit more challenging, the facilitator can instruct participants to run while carrying the ball using both hands. To further challenge the participants, the facilitator may introduce multiple balls into the activity. After the game, it's important to talk about what happened. This discussion helps us think about our strategies, how each person and the team performed. It's a really important tool to get better over time, learn more and improve how we play in the future. After the activity is done, the facilitator gathers everyone and leads a reflection session where everyone can share their thoughts. The facilitator wants everyone to say what they think. To make them comfortable, some easy and guiding questions can be asked like how did you find coordinating with your teammates during the activity? Did you face any challenges? What did you learn about the importance of coordination and teamwork in a team sport? What improvements or adjustments could be made to enhance teamwork and collaboration in future iterations of this activity? Reflecting on your experience, how can the skills you developed in this activity be applied to real-life situations that require collaboration and teamwork? Were there any specific teamwork skills that you found important for this activity? If so, which ones and why? The facilitator can also ask other relevant questions from the practitioner to probe further. Working together as a team is crucial in both our personal and professional lives. 
It helps build strong relationships, share responsibilities, develop knowledge and skills, and communicate effectively.